pops up. Basically, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this here topo surface in Revit from PDF and DWG. Well, we're going to convert the PDF to DWG and then show you how to do it from DWG. But um, the reason I'm doing it from PDF is to show you that having in PDF isn't the end of the world. It can still be salvaged um, because in the industry, certain things do happen. Data goes missing and sometimes all we have is PDFs. The best way to do it is to get the actual survey information from CSV or DWG format um, from their actual survey. But sometimes you have to make do with what you can. Just be careful. <laughs> Anyway, um, all I've done is create a new drawing. Uh, so file, new project, and I picked construction template, but you can pick any anyone. So go to site, make sure your view range is good. Top is 250, that's all good-ish. Uh, this should be at 100, I think. Okay, now insert, insert tab, image, um, what I did was I took a screenshot of this, like a, a snip, snipping tool. I used a snipping tool to snap part of it. And what you could do is you could scale this up and literally just drop points. So if I was to draw a line that is the same length as this, so 35.05, and then I'd select this, move it from this point here to that point there, and then scale it from that point to, say, that point to there. Now it's slightly accurate. Um, now I can come to massing and site and say topo surface place points whoops oh wait yeah so it's 194.500 because I was playing with that earlier so remember to change that first and then change it to the next one 195 and so on and so forth I'll just say okay and look at it in 3d and there I have a little bit of topo surface so you can do that let me just change these to 190 and one well, 200 so it's easier to show you <clears throat> I'll just delete that one actually yep so you can see there's a little bit of a topo here there's the high end high side there and the low side there it's not very accurate but it's doable now, the way I would do it is I would go to the internet and I would type DWG to PDF, no, PDF to DWG converter. And all you do is upload to the internet and download it or they'll email it to you or whatever find one of these websites. This one is the one I used, it's very good. You just choose file, enter your email and they email it to you. Um, and in the end, this was the end product. So the whole drawing, all the lines were converted, the text was kind of converted. They convert to objects rather than actual text, but it doesn't matter because we're not using it. And so what I did was I just cleared everything out that I didn't need like so and in the end all I was left with was this so remove all the lines except this and now from Revit I need to now locate that file I'm going to remove this old topo surface surface that I don't need go back to site mode delete this and I'm going to come to insert and say link CAD so it's not inserted it's linked and I'm gonna find the place where it was uh, 
Autodesk Revit. Let me just. Okay, so it is here. Let's just. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. I had to. Uh, I lost my topo for a sec there. It's because I was playing around with something earlier. Uh, anyway, so I've linked it and it's in here. So, what I need to do now is I need to say massing and sight topo surface, create from import, select import instance, come here and select that. And I know that these lines were on layer zero, so I'm gonna check none and just put layer zero down. If there was more lines and things like that, like all the other things, it would include those. So make sure all the topo lines are on one layer. And there you go, all my points are there. Now. I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this, but I haven't discovered it yet. I need to highlight all of these and say, well, they're at 190 already. Well, no, they shouldn't be 190. They're at the level that I imported them at, which was level zero, which is now at 190. By the way, the problem I had was that my site view wasn't looking down at that level. So if you do change the level, you need to come to site and say base level change that to the level that make sure that level is visible from your site view if you haven't had that problem and you haven't moved it it's all good um, in fact I would recommend not moving your your levels at all until after you've done this anyway so select all of these say 194.5 now I'll select all of these points and hold control and select the next batch say 195 and then same with these One nine five point five, and you just keep going until you get to this point where you've mapped them all out and if I select this one you can see it's at 202.5 and I select that one it's at 195 and they've all been mapped out and in the end you get this topo surface 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 I keep thinking survey because <laughs> um, at work that's what they call them and now you can give it a material so let's say stone which is unlikely or well mud uh, soil S O Y R earth and yes use render appearance apply okay and there we go we've got mud and if you can find grass you can use grass so I hope you learned something that is how we do it and please like and subscribe.